can you maybe comment on um, the full complexity and richness of the human mind through this process? We've been casually saying cooking, and, uh, fire, and uh, beta males leading to cooperation, but how does the the beauty of the human mind emerge from all of this? Is there other further steps we need to understand or is it as simple as this language emerging from taking over the alpha male and the cooperation? Or am I also over romanticizing how amazing the human mind is? Is it just like one small step in a long journey of evolution? Well, if the beauty of the human mind is um, the ability uh, of us all to uh, be creative, mm -hmm. um, to explore, uh, that's one kind of beauty. Uh, another kind of beauty is uh, the empathy uh, mm -hmm. that we can show. And we think of that as beautiful because it is a kind of rare and, uh, and special ability compared to uh, the sort of ordinary selfishness uh, that can commonly predominate. You know? mm -hmm. um, I suppose we have to think of you know, different sources for those, those two types. Mm -hmm. I, I suppose you know, a general answer is that there has been selection in favor of bigger brains, which probably in general has been associated with increasing cognitive ability. And as that has happened, I, the complexity of life has increased because people have more and more complex, highly differentiated strategies in response to each other's more complex, highly differentiated strategies. Uh, we get to a point where there is deception and self-deception. Uh, there is... Um, uh, a manipulation of ideas through stories that we invent and stories that we pass on. Um, you know, I guess all I'm wanting to say is that there is a world of the mind that evolves in response to these platforms mm -hmm. that are, are, are put there. You know, the platform of increasing brain size and therefore cognitive ability made possible by um, increased energy supply. The platform of uh, cooperation and tolerance in a world in which there remains a lot of conflict and therefore a need to respond to the conflict and manipulate your allies appropriately. You know, I don't see beauty as coming, uh, either kind of beauty as coming sort of totally independently of these things. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I don't think there's a selection for staring into the sunset and, and creating poetry. <laughs> yes. You know, but um, I guess sexual selection, you know, males wanting to impress females uh, in different ways will lead to um, them wanting to... Write poetry. <laughs> well, yes, you know, show off. Yeah, in all the different ways. So all of these are natural consequences of uh, just coming up with strategies of how to cooperate and... Uh, how to achieve certain ends. So that's just like a natural. Yeah, I, I mean, we haven't spoken about sexual selection, but uh, but that is a really important part of it. You know, they trying to outcompete each other in um, you know, normally without any physical conflict, uh, just in order to be able to be chosen by mates of the opposite sex, and and that that is a, certainly a major source of, of creativity. <laughs> 